And the LSU Tigers got themselves a potential new QB1. What's happening, everybody? Over having a super blessed day. And the LSU Tigers just picked up a phenomenal recruit, Elite 11 quarterback, the 13th best quarterback in the entire class, in Ricky Collins. Way to drop a dime. Absolute dime. This is a beautiful ball. First off, look at the spin. Look at the spin. Footwork could be a little bit better. Look at the spin. Look at the ball placement. High and away. Yeah, you're getting your receiver killed a little bit, but you're giving him a chance to make a play. That's a great ball. Hey, all my LSU fans, comment down below what you guys think of Ricky Collins so far. This kid can flat out spin it. He can spin the ball. And he, and he did a, a pretty good job at the Elite 11 as well. I feel like he did a lot better than most people thought that he would. His footwork definitely needs to improve. He definitely is just kind of jumping back into his into his uh back or his uh his drop step. That's what it's called. It's not. I'm, I'm like it's not a back pedal. It's it's your, it's your uh, three step drop back. But yeah, when, once he starts cleaning up his footwork, that's when his arms gonna get even more accurate, which is a scary thing to think about. He's got he's got a he's got some things in his throwing motion that he's got to clean up a little bit. It's a little bit loopy, just a little bit. When he needs to get the ball out of his hands quickly, he can. Uh, right now, to me, really, once he gets to LSU and that, and he is able to be in a college level quarterback room where they're able to work on the footwork, work on the arm angles, like that's where he's really gonna start shining. To me, he has all the arm talent. Like he like the the arm talent is there. Now it's about refining that talent. gone get a slide on him get the slide on him <laughs> yo i wonder if the ref would throw a flag if you like were looking back and you like accidentally ran him over <laughs> yeah he he definitely he, he just had like right now it's just it's just fixing the the fine tune of things his footwork is pretty bad i i, I can't i can't even lie about that he, he's just kind of just hopping back back to his, his drop back depth but at the Elite 11, I did see him make some throws at the Elite 11. He has gotten a lot better. The footwork has gotten a lot more polished. His arm angles have gotten a lot more polished. And this, the full release motion has been a lot cleaner. So if you, if you go and look at what he was doing at the Elite 11, he has made a lot of progress. And I'm excited to see what he's looking like heading into his senior year. But yeah, when, when it comes to just fitting the ball into a tight window, Ricky Collins can do that. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that maybe like 40, 50 yards down the field. But I think anything like 30 yards, 35 yards and in, if it's a tight window, I feel like Ricky Collins can really just rifle that ball in there with great accuracy. I mean, look at that touch. First off, look, look at the you, you see this. I, I would be staring at this guy just to just to get these guys to kind of commit more and then just drop that right over that linebacker or corner's head. That's a dime. I really want to see him take off. I want to see if he's got I want to see if he's got some legs on him. I want to see if he can move a little bit. Yeah, when when he when he's when he has a clean pocket and he can just stand in there and just rip that ball, which most quarterbacks can do that. But he really does impress with just the velocity and this the he keeps the ball very low. He throws like very just line drives. That's a great ball. Step up. There you go. The defenders on you still making the throw. LSU Tigers definitely got themselves a potential QB1 on their hands in Ricky Collins. To me, 
a lot of his game is not so much centered around like, oh, you know, he's got to still grow into his body. He's got all of the mechanical tools. Now it's about just perfecting his technique and his, and his mechanics. He, he's got the arm. You know, he, he can get the ball out of, his, out of his hands quickly. He's got the touch and the feel to make those touch passes, but also be able to fit a ball into a tight window. Now it's about getting that footwork correct because at the end of the day, if your footwork is off, you're never going to be an accurate quarterback because your the throwing motion starts from your base, starts from your feet. If your feet aren't set the perfectly every single time or if they're not in a somewhat ideal location then you're going to be using your arm too much to try and guide the ball rather than just let it all go and you're not you're aiming the ball rather than using your mechanics to put the ball where you need it to go so once he works on that footwork once he works on just cleaning up his throwing motion a little bit more which like i said at the elite 11 i saw him just take leaps and bounds like hit like this film compared to his elite 11 tape is night and day his footwork has gotten so much better obviously being around the elite 11 uh coaches they're gonna help coach him up and just show him the things that he needs to do from former nfl and college level pros I'm like come on college level pros that's not a thing nfl pros and college level stars but yeah i, I think that ricky collins definitely has a chance to be lsu's qb1 here in the next couple of years but i want to hear from all y'all comment down below what do you guys think of ricky collins your four-star quarterback pickup and he was an elite 11 participant so be sure to comment down below leave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 300,000 subscribers and with all that being said i love and appreciate all y'all i will catch you guys in the next video ciao